What's going on, everybody? It's a nitty, and we got episode two of my Darksiders playthrough. As we're coming in here, we just beat the first boss. We just got crushed. All our powers have been taken away, and we are bound to a guy, a very annoying demon that's going to watch us and keep us under control if we try to get out of control. And we're going to go up here and get our sword. Like I said in the first one, this game is very, very underrated for what it was. And actually, I said it was 10 bucks brand new. Let me move the mic away here a little bit. But I was up at GameStop, uh, what was it, yesterday? And you see here we get a power. So if you can hold R1 and then hit square, you'll see that, it, or L1 and hit square, it'll come out and you can do like an AOE type thing. But I said in my first one that I, I believed it was $10 brand new. It's actually 16 brand new. I just seen it up there for the Xbox and $10 used. So you can go up there and take that out if you guys find this game a lot of fun. I highly suggest it. This is one game that I always recommend uh, to be picked up. And then the next one here comes out on the 26th of June. So we'll see how that goes. You see here we're getting souls. They kind of tell us, uh, you know, the blue ones are the currency, green ones are health. And the yellow ones fill up our wrath bar in order to do our little specials. As we pretty much, you know, we're going to head in here and try to build our powers back up. You'll see that we get different weapons. We can level up weapons. All sorts of stuff that we go through here. And there's a, abysmal armor pieces. And I don't think I ever did get a full set of the abysmal armor. I got uh, quite a few of the pieces, but not the, the whole thing. On my first playthrough a long, long time ago, years ago actually. How long have I been so let me turn this down just a tad bit here. And you'll see on Thursday, I have a Shin uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep saying Shinobi for some reason. Ninja Gaiden 3 playthrough coming up for you guys. That game is a lot of fun as far as I've gotten into it. Um, and I picked it up for a dollar ten, so I can't complain about that. Actually, a dollar eleven, I should say. So here we come, we're heading in here. We'll get this started. You're gonna... Looks like and I'm here is that demon that's it. bound to us to kind of keep us in check, and he's really annoying. He pops up all the time, and so fast, you just want to pimp slap him out. And as you see, this is what's going to happen if we try to defile him. And we'll go from there. You're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Not exactly sure how you can kick us with no legs, but... To play dead? He's pretty much bound. He's in our... in our big old glove there. Good boy. So, here we go. Now, there might be quite a few deaths in this little playthrough that I'm doing. We are playing on apocalyptic mode, so... And I haven't played it in a while. Oops. Noob failed that one. go zombie apocalypse I think the human race will be just fine if there is a zombie apocalypse either comes around either you're gonna need a gun shoot him in the head or a big sword And then you'll notice too, like uh, certain areas in this game we gotta go back to, like um, there'll be doors you can't get into until you get certain powers and you gotta kinda remember where each of them are, which is really hard because this is, it's not really open world, but it is at the same, you know what I mean, at the same time, you can go back all the areas and 
some of the little puzzles and tricks and traps are, are pretty difficult to get past. And these guys are annoying. A lot of dodging going on. So while we're down on health until we can get some of our health things up yet. And on apocalyptic mode, we do not want to get hit. As that just happened. Oh, we don't want to be next to them when they blow up. in the world. Most of the items here are interactive, like I can pick out a table up if I wanted to and start smashing people with it. Usually, when you got something like this, there's only one path you can take to it, so they kind of linearize that quite a bit. too much of this game as far as what we got to do. Let's go over the flow. Alright, and then you'll see a bunch of these things here where the door seals off, kind of like in the first episode. And you can't get through those doors until you clear out all the enemies. And there's probably a big dude that's going to pop up here, most likely. Oh, that was a waste. These guys at first, once once we build all our stuff up, they're not that bad, but see, I can almost get one shot by these guys. We don't want that to happen, so let's go in here and just, I'm going to start chucking things at this guy. Oh, I got stuck on the table. On the piano. 
We gotta be real careful. Okay, let's back him out. I don't want to get stuck in there. got a ton of hit points if you want to put it like that not anymore What's going on everybody? I just want to let you guys know you can hit up my Tales of Graces F playthrough over on Tour de Force right now. And if you missed my last Military Monday, we talk a little bit about the basics of being a machine gunner. So if you like what you guys see, hit that subscribe button. Go over and check me out on Justin TV, Facebook, and Twitter. Go over and check out Viso Gamers and Vidthrough's pages as well. I hope to see you guys there soon. And as always, keep your heads up. Have a great day. Peace.